We are Beer and Chill Podcast. Podcast where we review TV shows, games, movies, and whatever else takes our fancy. So what are you waiting for? If you're a cool kid like us, you're gonna listen to the Beer and Chill Podcast. You can get it anywhere from Spotify all the way to your grandmother's radio. My name is Jan. And I'm Craig C. And we are Beer and Chill. Victims to the Horgasm Podcast. I'm Nick, and with me is my co-host Ali. Hi. All right. A, a late recording, sadly, due to you being sick. But Ooh. whatever, we'll just get the get these done and toss them out together. And Heck yeah, everything's good. Yeah. Just a little late. That's okay. But it's a, you were sick. You were. You had a flu. Ugh, yeah. Thankfully, not COVID. It was just the flu. No, nope, not it. COVID. Ah. Just the flu. I um yeah got it from somebody at work and it sucks. And I was Ooh. so sick. Like I haven't had the flu since I was small. Yeah, and I couldn't believe. Years. Like yeah. Like ugh, I don't know. I don't get it. Like it's fine. But I just, ugh, being bedridden is like the worst and being nauseous and headachey. Oh, I like, hate the, yuck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Worst feelings ever. Ugh, like it's just, I don't know. It's worse. And yeah, I'm be- back in the saddle. Yay. Uh, awesome. Whatever you call it. <laughs> You're right. That was, that, was, that was a correct. Yeah. Ugh. Correct just, terminology. I'm back in the saddle. Here we go. And it's also like super fucking cold here. Like oh. so cold. And the thing is, it's it's Ugh. for here. It's like in the twenties. Yeah. Edmonton. Yeah. Minus forty. Forty. Fuck that. Ugh. 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 And we're Ugh. in we're in Celsius, so don't yeah. Yeah. So don't, don't freak out. Even though our minus forty matches up with Fahrenheit's minus forty to what? give you yes, that's where it matches up. Not zero. It's so funny. That zero doesn't match up. Minus 40 does. Minus 40. Yeah. That's I know. Fucked. Super cold. Yeah. Super cold. Which is fine. Like, we go through this every year. It's, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> it's the, the, the joy of being a Canadian. Exactly. We just, we're used to it. We plug our cars in, get our mitts and toques out, and bunny hugs on. Our, oh, <laughs> I got my bunny hook on yep, right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's, it's my go-to. People are like, oh, not too cold? Like, no. Yeah. As a shiver. Yeah. I have my bunny hug on. <laughs> How many layers do you have underneath there? One. I'm fine. I'm Canadian. You have to I'm take tough. me out for dinner first to yeah, find out. Yeah, you will find out. Yeah. <laughs> you get drinks. We'll find oh, out. Exactly. Oh, gosh. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. So I started watching a new guy on YouTube who does horror games. New guy. His name, yeah. Horror games. His name is Hollow. We should maybe work with him. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, I think he's kind of big time. But he's he's funny and good. And I've just kind of, he does like a lot of indie, lots of photorealistic horror. Oh, yeah. So lots of like spooky scars. Ooh. And when I watch like Let's Plays, I normally don't get scared as much anymore. I was watching one in bed. And I jumped twice. What was he playing? Ah, oh, what was he playing? I think it was called Night Shift. Um, it's just like an old school indie horror game. It sounds, yeah. And I jumped twice. Like, jumped Jeez. out of my bed. And I was like, there's no way. Oh, it was I'm, so I'm, scary. I'm waiting for that um, alien abduction one to come out. Yes! Because that's going to scare me. Yep. Like, Absolutely. I, of all the things that you know really get me, you know, nervous and it's all ET's fault. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> no, it just the whole abduction thing, just I don't know why it just Absolutely. makes me feel so uneasy. Did you see the one that they were talking about at um the game awards? No, I missed it. I wasn't oh, watching those. It's was... like it's something with um I think it's demons. I'm not sure if it's demons or aliens, but the faces are like super I'll look it up when we're um for our next recording. Okay. <laughs> it looks so scary. 
But so um, yeah, I'm really excited. We need some more horror games because like Resident Evil's good, and Ooh. I like Resident Evil. But oh, you know what then? Like like at the awards, which yep. I didn't watch, but I saw the trailer for yep. it just on Twitter. Yeah. Um, there's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre yes. game coming out. Yes. I wonder if it's going to be like Friday the 13th. I think it will. Yeah, because it said it's multiplayer. Yes. So it's kind of... Probably a group of... One person has Leatherface and then and a group of teenagers. four or five and you have to, I don't know, do yep. stuff. You'll get out of the house. Yep. I don't know. It'll, who knows? Yeah, totally. Because... Yeah, because that's almost the, the old, like, that. There's Dead by Daylight. There's yep. just all the kind of the same, same formula. Absolutely. And yes, there, it works. Yep. But it's the same formula. No, maybe yeah. they can have something different. Have a different... When people get sick of this. Yeah. You know? Like, like... That's a, what happened. You know, it goes among us. And then it was Fall Guy. And then it was, you know, now it's whatever. Yeah. Fortnite again. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was just saying, yeah, it is Fortnite again. Ever since they're, like, season three or something. And, yeah. Exactly. Oh, we got Spider Man. I'm like, I have Spider Man at home. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You teach us some crappy web slinging on trees. I got New York City. Like, yes, no so. kidding. <laughs> but no, like that, like that was interesting. That. Yep. Um, oh, what else is coming out? The Star Wars game. <gasps> yes. So ready for that. The trailer was unreal. Oh, I can't wait. You won't see it though for another two years. Oh, for <laughs> sure. No, for sure. They just kind of dropped a super cool. It's a probably uh, either er, late 2023 or early 2024. Yeah, for sure. That's what I think will be the yeah, release date. I agree. Um, a new screen movie coming out. Yeah. Um, that's out right away, actually. Jeez. And I've, I've, I think I've seen, I've seen a trailer. It looked not bad. Yep. Uh, I haven't seen the number four yet. Mm. I've... I've it's been a while since I watched. Them. I think I've just seen the first one, honestly. I've seen the first two for sure. I don't. Uh -huh. I think I saw the third one. I haven't seen the fourth one though. But uh, they're, they're they're saying in the the poster the killer well, the killers in the, one of the people in the poster. Mm. I'm like, oh, spoilers. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I you know what? I would love it just for a crazy twist. Yeah. Have it be um, Neve Campbell. Have have oh, for sure. Have a Sydney. Yep. Yeah. Be the, uh, be the killer. That would be awesome. Just, you know, she hey? kind of lost it and just, you know, <laughs> fuck you, I'm him now. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Or they might, the people are, are thinking that um, the first two guys might come back. Even uh, um, Matthew Lillard? Yes. Oh, love. That's a rumor. It's such a rumor. It's a love. very, very, I would love to have him back. Um, it's a very rough rumor. I don't think there's much basis behind it, but yep. I think there's going to be like a, like a flashback of her thinking, you know, seeing them. Cool. Which again would be cool. It'd be good. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, uh, you know, callbacks are good when they're done short right. and well. Yeah. And that'd be good. And if they weren't done in the right spot. Well, even like her thinking that she sees them or something, you know. Or or even spoilers. I don't know if this is spoilers because it's an old movie. But didn't they die at the end? One of them. One of them did. For sure, because he was shot in the head. Yeah. But Matthew Lillard, I think he had like a TV dropped on his face. Okay. And they don't say if he died or not. Okay, so... His death was thrown up in the air. He yeah, I was going to say, so hypothetically he died. Let's just say he yeah. didn't survive that. It would be interesting, though, if it was that question mark and she thinks she sees him almost. And it's like, oh my God, he's still alive and hunting us. But it's actually like her having a psychological break. Yes. You know what? I, I, right? Yeah, you know, I would go with that, too. Yeah. You know, have her start seeing things because yeah. she's finally, I think... In the movie, I think she had a, has a child or something, has a daughter mm -hmm. and all that. But I don't know. Very much uh, I, I Halloween. Know. Yes, the new I, Halloween. I would like the the psych break would work if there's actual a like, killer. Yeah, and she just loses it. Like I haven't seen. Well, I take that back. Well, no, I actually haven't. I haven't seen a good movie where PTSD is really prevalent in the main character. They're always mm. strong enough. They always, you know, oh. My family was killed. I was horribly injured, but I killed that bastard who ever got me, or I chased him away. I'm fine now. Like we haven't. The only one I've seen that had some simmer was Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When it starts off with the surviving the girl, yeah. the last girl, and Jason kills her right off the off the bat. Right off the bat, yeah. And that was mostly due to her being stalked and her and some yeah, it, it bad bad real stuff. Yeah. But. Other than that, you know, we don't see, you know, um, I think 
Nancy was in near Elm Street too. Mm -hmm. She sounded seemed fine to me. Yeah. Like no one seems to be really affected. Right. Um, in the sequels. Yeah. Uh, you never have Jaws. Um, Chief Brody. Like, in, in the first one, he's afraid of water. He was terrified of the shark. In the second one, he's all gung-ho. He's like, I'm going to kill this fucking shark. Isn't Halloween 2, like, in the hospital? And she's, like... Like, Jamie Lee Curtis is in the hospital, and it's, like, her still, like, suffering from what Michael did to her? He, no, the remake? Or the the, the the new sequel? Or the no, old the sequel? old, old. I haven't, seen, this, I haven't oh. seen the old second one. Well, she's in the hospital dealing with PTSD. Oh, <laughs> that we're also going to watch um, uh, one of the... Um, we're going to watch a movie all about a psych break, too, coming up at some okay. point here. I know. You know, and I have one more... Because I've watched a few of them like There's that, where it's many, like, ah, everybody's dying, and it's like, oh my God, I'm the one doing the, the killing. <laughs> yeah. And well, I'll, do you, I'll do you use uh, Ripley from Aliens again, yes. but no... She got over, the, like, in the, in the yes. Alien, you know, she got through it. She was horribly traumatized in the sequel. Um, she was having nightmares, yeah. which someone having that would happen. Absolutely. Would happen. But then she goes back, she faces her fears, and she mm -hmm. gets tough. Yes. She sucks it up, she saves the Marines. Yes. And then they, and things happen in the third one. <laughs> but even though, though, she still, <clears throat> she doesn't, you know, break. She doesn't, yeah. wilt, you know, wilt. She stands up and she fights on which yeah. is you know which is kind of what you should do absolutely but not yeah. all the time can you do that right yeah and that's why i like with the you know the mental breaks and all that that's more that brings realism to it instead of very realistic the gung -ho, yeah. you know i'm gonna go they, you know, they kill my family kill my friends strap I'm on all my weapons and go hunt them down that's it's right like, no. rambo up no honey like, no <laughs> no you'd be in the corner crying and bawling and yeah, but things also, if people see that movie, they'll think, oh, that's showing a weak female character. Yeah. Yes, but it's also showing a real mm -hmm. male or female I was going to say, it could be a dude, too. And I would like, you know, we need to see more guys, you know, having mental breaks. Yes, absolutely. Well, uh, this is the thing, though, is that, sorry, I'm going to go a little feminist here, but men aren't supposed to show emotion. It's wrong. No, it's not we manly. Well, you can't. You just pump your chest and that's right. punch some drywall and you're fine. And that's yeah. not true. Guys can show emotion literally as much as anybody else. Head bought a few trees, you're good to go. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's so silly. I and, just you know there's and this is this is real. I, I saw this uh, on YouTube yesterday. I was YouTube mm -hmm. rabbit hole deep dive. Oh yeah. Um, came across this video of uh, I think it was a couple of years ago in Afghanistan. I don't know one of the, the stands. Yeah. And um, this guy who was I think he's at at the time like 22, 24. Uh, he went and did the military thing and they're having like this, mm -hmm. this big, you know, televised or recorded, um, session, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And he is, him and his mom are pleading for help because mm -hmm. he killed 40 men, you know, yeah. doing his job, being, yes. you know, being a, a hero and all that. But the effects of that messed him well, up well how bad. do you come back from that you i don't i i've never been i don't i don't know i haven't been to that and we don't have good enough programs for when you come back they're just like they no. release you from service give you your money and say good luck yeah here's a therapist call this number uh yeah. and don't that's... kill yourself yeah bingo yeah it's, it's worse in the states it's terrible i states. know it's terrible in the but, states but he's he and his, his mom are just you know he's so mad because and this is how he 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 was yelling, he was screaming, yes. he was being, he wasn't being very, you know, wasn't, you know, in anger, well, it was anger too, but wasn't like, he, this is how he reacts. He was frustrated, yeah. And apparently he was, you know, when he, he couldn't sleep, uh, when he dreams, he sees people, his people he killed. A hundred percent. Come into him and ask him, why did you kill me? A hundred percent. And he was asking for help. Yes. Help, he was asking for therapy, for all this, and nothing. Nope. And his mom, his mom I guess she was a nurse and she was helping taking care of him. It's heartbreaking. And this is, you know, he's a young, you know, fairly handsome guy. I'm like, yep. geez. But this is exactly back to the last movie we watched, Overlord. The mm -hmm. real villain in that movie was the war. Yes. I, a hundred percent. I've thought about that movie so much since we watched it. I'm like, it was so fucked up. Mm -hmm. Like, scary. The scariest parts for me. Were the actual parts yeah. of the war. It's like, I can't even imagine going somewhere like that 
having to deal with all that and then coming back and being like, you're fine, right? And all those millions, not just uh, through the thousands, millions of people yes. who went to war, World War One, World War Two. So yeah. I think World War One. I, I think they're all dead now. Oh yeah. But World yeah. War Two, the Gulf War, Vietnam, like all those. Yes. Like even um, in the two thousands, yeah. when when they went to war on terrorism. Yeah. All the people who've gone and fought, like, they they can't all be just find a dandy coming home right you're absolutely they right can't be. it's they're not <laughs> and that sucks and i feel bad I for them and they're you know true heroes yes and we have a, a day we should have more days in the world yes. but we have a day so just for them and they are well deserved yes uh but oof i know like that alone is a good like i haven't seen a good ptsd solely centered horror movie mm-hmm um, maybe the there's a few there, there's, I I've watched a few they're usually not good is no. the problem is that they really like um, I don't want to say exploit but they really like it's unrealistic it's almost like a mockery yes right you're yeah. right uh, I think and I, I haven't seen this movie for a very long time so I forget how it really is but Jacob's Ladder mm, which, that's a good movie son of a bitch that's the same theme as movie watched today yep. as above so below yep which that alone deals with the nine circles of hell, yep. uh, which I love. That is such a mm-hmm. great story. Yeah. And I forget the guy who went down it. Um, was it went... Jacob? No. <laughs> no. No. <sighs> um, um, Dante's Inferno. Dante, yeah. Yes, Dante's Inferno. Yeah. yeah. Which, fantastic, mm-hmm. you know, read. It's very, very interesting. Yeah. And uh, they made a game out of it called Dante's, Dante's Inferno. Inferno. Yeah. Uh, they made a, a anime movie out of it, which is on Amazon called Dante's Inferno. <laughs> it's a beautiful. It's it's a really visually striking, awesome movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it takes the whole book and kind of throws out the window. And well, it it doesn't take out the window. Sure. But really, they ramp up to eleven. They mm-hmm. take this movie and they throw in some plot to it and ramp up to eleven. And yep. here you go, movie. Yeah. But. Oh, just yes. anything like that. Anything with the more kind of mythical yes. or those kind of stories. demon just... stuff is awesome. It is. Very, very cool. Especially when they base it on like mythology and stuff. I yes. think it's so neat. Yes. Yeah. Like the nine circles, you all have like, you know, there's greed, there's violence, there's yep. lust, there's, yep. um, there's others I forget. Uh, not, not suicide. That's part of violence. Yeah. But the last one is, is the nine circle of hell. And that's basically a frozen winter yeah. you know, Iceland where mm-hmm. the where the devil is frozen Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan. <laughs> it's, it's like we're there right now true <laughs> jokes on Very us true. yes but yeah Satan's in like the middle of this you know stuck in ice and that's where he stays yeah. until shit happens uh huh but it's such a great visual mm-hmm. and how it works out interesting love it it's, I haven't watched it in a very long time what Jacob Slather same, same here yeah it's been a good minute since I've seen the movie. Yeah. I should watch it again. Mm-hmm. It is so good. We should add it to our list. That's what totally we should, should do, right? We should. Jeez. Yeah. But you mentioned this week we watched As Above, So Below. Yes. So, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Woo! Can you read that? What does it say? Abandon all hope. Ye who enter here. Um. What? Um. According to mythology, that's the inscription over the gates of hell. What? I'm. I'm not going in there. I thought you didn't believe in any of this. I don't. And they should be made to crawl in their bellies to enter the kingdom of darkness. Yeah, that occurred to me too. Yeah. Oh. Shit. All right, so this week we watched As Above, So Below. It's a 2014 movie directed by, and written, I guess, by Eric, no, John Eric Dowdle. Jesus, I got it there. No. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew Dowdle. Andrew Dow- Dowdle, yeah. Yeah. 
brother, sister, partner, friend, um, whatever. They have the same last name, I'm assuming. So People. You know. <laughs> <laughs> relative of a, I don't. <laughs> of a five million budget movie they made 41 almost 42 million box office that's a win yeah well that's... i'll tell you how i heard about it because i um i was um this was when i was super big into watching youtube like every day i watched hours and hours of youtube and um at that point i still watch him but i um really like every single day um i watch pewdiepie and he was, this was back when he had a sponsorship with YouTube and yes. he did Scare PewDiePie. And so he did like an as above, so below thing yes. where they, they took him to Paris, put him in the catacombs and he had to like do an escape sort of type thing yeah. with puzzles and whatnot. And so, and it was to promote this movie. And I remember I didn't watch horror movies at the time. But um, when it came out, he was like, it's so scary. You have to see it. It's like crazy, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, ooh, if I could watch it without dying inside, I would. But yeah, so I, I watched part of it. I probably made it about halfway through to like um, when they get into like the forbidden hallway. And I was like, this is so boring and turned it off. <laughs> and I don't regret it. <laughs> but um, I mean, I'm glad we watched it. It's an it's it was fine. I just it wasn't the worst thing ever. Yeah, not my I, favorite movie we've watched, but they're not all gonna be home runs, right? No. But yeah. So how did you first hear about it? I saw it in like a trailer for I forgot what movie I saw it from, but sure. I saw a trailer. I'm like, okay, I I also thought it was something entirely different. I thought it was more of like cannibals underneath France. Uh, Interesting like monsters, cannibals. Like that. That's like that was like kind of theme. It was during that time where you know things would. You go into somewhere, you know, more secluded, you know, caverns. Um, you get attacked by things. See, like, and that's what I thought Overlord was going to be, too, which is why I was like, oh, this yeah, is what we're getting. Thinking, yeah, I also got that moved up with a um, totally different movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But no, because um, no, this is around the same time, or in the same era, I guess, yeah. of um, uh, uh, the, the Descent. Yes, you bet. Like, yep. you know, I thought they would be the same. Yeah, descent. They, yeah. Instead of you know, people, there's you know, monster or something under France in the catacombs. Yep. That's you know, go in there, and that's why. I thought that there was going to be monsters in this too. Mind you, I again, I didn't know much about it. I was like, ooh, same, scary. Same. I knew was the catacombs. Going to, going to catacombs. It's France, and there's like skulls. Yep. And there was not very many skulls. No. <laughs> a little, it was lacking the whole skull department. Yeah, there were some bones. We crawled through bones a couple times. Yep. That's about it. Which but is fine. It, like it I'm was, down for some bones. It was, it was not unexpected. Yeah. Um, I think because of that, it I didn't feel let down. Okay. Um, that also mixed it with being an da- adaptation of Dante's Inferno. Mm. I'm like, okay, you know what? This works. After I found that out, I'm like, okay, you know what? That gives a little more, a little more points for me. Mm. Um, <laughs> you're unimpressive. Mm. I just thought it was boring. I don't know. I, I don't know. We've just been watching such bangers lately that I was like excited. Yeah. So I was like, I've heard people like walk out of the theater watching this. Yeah, but those people are pansies. <sighs> also true. <laughs> <laughs> and but, if you walked out of As Below So Below, I'm sorry to call you pansy, but... But you're, 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 you're Yeah. <laughs> no, it was go just... Go pair and go watch it again. Yeah, like it was... Fu- I don't know. It was fine. There like, were, okay, there, the jump scares were, were slim to none. Yeah. Um, I liked those, some of the effects for the mood. Sure. Like when they're first going through, like... In quotations, the first circle. Mm-hmm. Um, it goes deaf. There's no sound. It's very muffled. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, oh, must be some equipment issue. No, no, no. It's what happened to them right then. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, there's like a rush of like, you know, just sound yep. and, and gongs and all that. Yeah. And screeching. Screeching. And, yeah. See, it, again, they, they do a good job with the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. You have people screaming. You have, you're not sure what's going to happen next. Yeah. They get turned around. You're like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Um, they do a lot of things right. Okay. But at the same time, they're also missing, to really fully complete the puzzle, they're missing a few pieces. Yeah, like, for a found footage, and I watch, like, a lot of found footage movies. They are my favorite genre. I watch them until I'm sick, 
because I love them so much. And I just, the found fit footage didn't feel real to me. Like it felt like it was a yeah. studio recording of a found footage. Yes. You know? And like some of it was good. I liked um, when um, Benji, I think that was the camera yes. guy's name. Yeah. He, when he was crawling through the first part over the bones oh, and he gets his, stuck. His that was out. probably my favorite part of the movie because I actually felt scared and claustrophobic. Yes. I was like, ooh. And I, I thought, oh my God, this is going to be the movie. It's like The Descent. Oh my God. Yeah. No. <laughs> there and, and is not it, much of that. I was expecting something to pop out. He thought he'd see something. Nope. He just gets stuck yep. and he freaks just out. Stuck. Which is fine. Like, that is scary. That oh, yes. is 100% scary. That's why I, I, I want to be there when you watch Underwater. Yeah. Just for the beginning because you'll have a very uncomfortable time. I, I watched part of it. With Which Kristen Stewart? Yes. Yeah, I liked it. Which is but I was watching through. it at work, and um, I couldn't, like, 100% pay attention. I was sad about it. Uh, so I was like, oof, Because, like, the first 55 minutes of her yes. just crawling through yes. very, very uh, dark, you know, yep. tight, claustrophobic areas. And I'm like, cool. Alana would hate this. Yeah, I would. I would hate it. <laughs> It just stresses me out. And that's the kind of, I mean, obviously everybody like, you know, to each their own. Yes. But that shit scares me than a, more than a jump scare. Yeah. Because it's no, I like, that. I can feel my chest like tighten and it's I can you, like feel the pressure on my chest. Yeah, and I'm like, yourself in the shoes. Yeah. Like, okay. I feel like I can't breathe. And I'm like, yeah. Ooh. And Ooh. that's, and that's good. That was good. It means they got you, they got you, they got you, they got yes. you in. Yeah. You're sucked in. You're right. involved. You're involved in it. And that was like first half hour of this movie yeah and then after that it was just like <sighs> and again like i was expecting <laughs> monsters creatures what's uh, something kind of sort of but there were, it was mostly just the the caverns themselves like yeah. the, the catacombs themselves were the antagonists and it felt like i said when we were watching like it felt like escape room yes 100 percent. it's like you have to solve this puzzle or the, the ceiling will cave in yeah like the beginning has a moment <laughs> where they have to take this stone slab to yeah. put over and they uh, national treasure it. Yeah, I was so. going to say national treasure, <laughs> like angels and demons or something. Fuck. Da Vinci Code it. Uh. I like those kind of movies. I like the... Uh, the I do too. I love the... It's almost the like movies. they were doing too much. Almost a case of doing too much. Like it was supposed to be the, the whatever, Dante's Inferno. But, you know, they were solving riddles. But it was supposed to be a horror. Plus, they had past trauma playing in there. Yes. Plus, it was supposed to be in the catacombs, which we barely got to enjoy. Like, it was just, it, it just felt too much. It felt, like, clustered and rushed and bleh. Bleh, 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 bleh. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'll yeah. just say, but you know. But boring I, somehow. I, you know what? It, it, almost, it almost felt like it wasn't enough to me. Yeah. Like they're like I said, that's why they're missing parts of the puzzle. To make this yeah. a really good movie, they were, they left a few things out. I think <laughs> one of that was, like you said, um, it was missing something to be scared of. Yes. There's always something in the distance. There's that one woman yes. who would walk by. You saw her a few times in the movie. Yes, exactly. You saw her outside outside the club. You saw her chanting with other weird women. And you saw her <laughs> just kind of walk by. And she threw a baby at Benji too, didn't she? She threw a baby. She had a baby in her hands. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, and each death represents something that they were regretting. Something that, yeah. Yeah, that happened to them. They had to, they regret it. They had yeah. to kind of atone for their sins. Right. Um, but we it, it just felt like they, they didn't get enough info with that either. It's like they had a bunch of ideas and then just did the tip of the iceberg for all of these ideas. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. I, like, it was fine. Like, if somebody's worst. like, give me a found footage movie, I, this would not be my top five. No, 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 no. But it wouldn't be, like, my bottom five either. No. You know? It, it, it's for it's got with the strengths are strong. Mm -hmm. But also, then, it also exposes it was weak with. Yeah. Uh, like, effects with, mm -hmm. uh, like, the villains. Like, um, uh, some of the stone wall heads yep. kind of pop out and they bite one of them. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and, and the main character, when she's running back and forth, she just punches into him and walks by. Yeah. Um, I guess the one guy in the chair represents the devil, mm. uh, which I, I liked. I thought that was cool. That was kind of creepy. 
I didn't they mind that design. They don't explain it well enough, though. Like, if you ah, wouldn't have told bingo. me, I never would have known. See, I didn't realize until right after. I'm like, oh, Dante's Inferno. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Like, that was... I agree. It was very, very, very vague with that. Yeah. Um, I did, though, enjoy the... And that's just you know, my, me, I, my own taste in what I'm interested in. Once he's going through all the, the clues and reading all everything off. Oh, like, totally. Oh, I love that, yeah. That really... Is interesting. Yeah. Like, this is mostly about the uh, the Philosopher's Stone, Nicholas Fumel. Yeah. It, it's, you know, like, uh, found footage horror Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that part I really did enjoy. Yeah, I agree. I did, I too. I really did. And <laughs> so, well, I will get into it later on, but I... Poor Benji. Oh, fucking Benji. They didn't He had the once. worst time. He did. Ugh. And they didn't help him at all. No. They had the stone. They could have healed him. He still had the bandages on his hands. Yeah. Yes. Poor Benji. Ugh. And the one guy, um, um, Dex, he still had a broken nose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zed. That was Zed. Sure. Yeah. That, you were just backwards. Okay. Something. <laughs> Dex. Dex. I don't know. <laughs> I would. Well, half of them have French names. Like, Suxi has a French name. Papillon is a French name. Yeah. I'm assuming Dex is short for La something. Taupe. La Taupe. The oh, La Taupe, yeah. More. La Taupe! La Taupe! <laughs> La Taupe, La Taupe, La Taupe, La Taupe. There's La Taupe on that guy's face. <laughs> Molly, 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 Molly. <laughs> oh, oh power. Makes everything good. Oh, should we get into the cast? Sure. Okay, so. Uh, Perdetta Weeks stars as Scarlett Marlowe. A very accomplished scholar in research of the Philosopher's Stone. She's clever but reckless in her pursuit for the truth. That. Ben Feldman plays George. Does he even oh, yeah. Name? He's um, Jonah in Superstore. I almost called him Jonah multiple times. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then I'm like, uh, nope, nope. <laughs> he's Scarlet's ex and an Aramaic translator. Mm-hmm. With a hobby for breaking into old buildings to repair things. <laughs> That's quite the hobby. <laughs> Edwin Hodge as Benji. She's, or she, he's a Scarlet's yep. cameraman and tech specialist. Hell yeah. Uh, Francois Civel as Papillon. Papillon. Pa Papillon. He's her guy through the catacombs. He likes to tag everything. Yep. That's what he does. That's what he does. Pap. Pap. <laughs> Marion Lambert as Suxi. 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 Mm -hmm. he, she's uh, Papillon's girlfriend. Yep. Uh, Ali Mahir as Zed. Papillion's friend. Oh, Pab. It's easier. Mm -hmm. Pablo Nicodemus as La Taupe. Mm -hmm. He's the, the mole who went yep. missing two years ago and he knew everything in the catacombs. Yes. Except the one path which they're never supposed to take and they took. And he went in at one time and, and then was never seen again. Yeah, which probably is the entrance to, the, to hell. Yeah. Uh, Hamed Reza Yavdan as Reza. Mm. Uh, Roger Van Hool as Scarlett's father. Uh, Samuel Azertra, I can't pronounce his last name, as Danny. He's George's younger brother who drowned when he was yes. a child. And Kea Bloxage as a curator who we saw was he once. Yes. And that's it. Woo! Yeah, it's a pretty that's small a cast. cast. It's a very small cast. Like they, in the beginning, she goes around a bit. Like she finds Papillon and Suxi at a club. And that's about the most people we see. In the beginning, she's in Iran trying to find some tablets or something, some code. Trying to find, like, the, the codex or something. Yeah, the, yeah. what she called the key or whatever. The rose key. The rose key. Yeah. So she's doing that. And so we see her interacting with a family and on a bus and stuff. But other than that, they're just in the catacombs the whole movie. Yep. Which is great. Yep. That's what you expect, right, when you're watching yes. it. Yes. So. I thought the beginning was the, right, the catacombs. Like, well, this is a... Yeah, We're jumping right else. in. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> no, it was a wrong. Yeah, should we jump into the plot? Let's do it. Okay, so Scarlett Marlowe, a young alchemy scholar, continues her dead father's work searching for the Philosopher's Stone, a legendary <laughs> alchemic, al al alchemical. Yep. Yeah, that feels right. Substance capable of turning base metals into gold or silver and grant eternal life. Which is cool. Like, turn base metals into gold. Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, people, like... People actually still look for that thing. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, discovered by Nicholas Hamel. Yeah. She finds a rose key in a cave in Iran, where she sees a hanged man before, 
which she narrowly escapes as it collapses. See, and that's why I thought that that hanged man was that dude at the end. I yes. was like, oh my God. Yeah. I know he was hanged. I was thinking I was playing with puppies or eating something and look up. I'm like, oh, there's a guy there and he gets crushed. I'm like, there's oh. There's a dude. <laughs> that was the police looking for him. Yeah. I, okay. I, ah, it makes sense now to watch the movie properly. <laughs> Alana. <laughs> I see you on your phone. Uh, <laughs> Coney out right there. Boom. Uh, she travels to Paris where she enlists the help of George, her former lover. A former lover. Yes, although he seems a little grumpy with her. He is quite grumpy. Very grumpy. He doesn't like kids. Which, like, I'm sure if, you know, people ran into their ex, they'd probably be grumpy, right? Yeah. Makes sense. Along with Benji, the cameraman, they translate Flamel's headstone which contains a riddle that leads them to 370 feet underneath the streets of Paris. Mm -hmm. She enlists the help of a guide called Papillon, his girlfriend, Suzy, and friend, Zed, to search the catacombs of Paris at a party. Woo! Yeah. A woman is staring at Benji during the party. Yes. She's leaving as they're coming in, and then they see her outside the club, and then she walks past. And it's just creepy. She walks yep. past like a, a window a window pillar. She yep. disappears. They go kind of ahead and she's, she's gone. gone. She's gone. Yeah. Um, George refuses to go, but is driven into the, ca- the caves with the group when a policeman spots them and tackles Papillon. Mm-hmm. Papillon, whatever. Pap. Pap. Pap, yeah. After encountering female cultists who are singing and appear possessed including the same woman from the party who stares at Benji again. Duh, duh, and her, duh. her stare, I love that stare. Yes, that she's look. got like big doe eyes. She's got Galrin eyes. Yeah. And you don't know what Galrin is, that's from Star Trek. Mm-hmm. So look it up. You'll be like, oh, it's, it's the <laughs> eyes. It's, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Like he, the, the actor who did Galron in Star Trek Next Generation, fucking top notch. Awesome. Awesome eye actor. Mm. <laughs> gives uh, a good eye. <laughs> oh yes, he gives some deadly eye. <laughs> Uh, they crawl through a narrow tunnel which collapses. This is where we get Benji freaking out. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, he's not happy. Which, fair. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. They find themselves in a block tunnel that Pap is reluctant to breach. Mm -hmm. As only people who have gone through, including Pap's friend, Latoupe, the mole, have never been seen again. The group... Oh, this is when he gets to the... Bones. The group attempts to take a different path where Benji gets stuck briefly. Somehow they loop back around to where they were alo- they were before and they are forced to go through the tunnel. Mm-hmm. This is where it gets kind of cool and yeah. weird because they go st- on a straight line. And when they, they, they get Benji out and it's collapsing and they're like, okay, we made it out. They're back where they started, but yeah. they didn't do any turns. Instantly there's something wrong. Something's going on here. Yeah. Which is spooky and ooh. After venturing deeper into the catacombs, they encounter Letope, who agrees to guide them out and informs them the only way out is down. Mm-hmm. And he was right. Yep. And basically, because um, he's... <coughs> the first, um, I guess, circle is limbo, and that's okay. where he is in. Because mm. he always, he's always moving so fast. Right. He's always you know, ahead of them. Yep. Uh, they eventually find a tomb with a preserved Templar knight, a mound of treasure, and the Flamel Stone, which... They came across fashion. Yes. The, 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 the philosopher. Why did they put this called the Flamel Stone? I don't know. Those stupid people. <laughs> like, whoever wrote these Wikipedia should be shot. Mm-hmm. And thrown into the catacombs of Paris. Yeah. Yeah. Removing the stone, Scarlet realizes too late that the treasure is a trap, and the room collapses. La Troupe is lost in the rubble and is left behind by the group. Mm-hmm. Uh, back up a little bit. We have um, when they're trying because at first Pap's like, "I'm not going." Yeah. We'll get in trouble. We'll get in shit. I'm already under real suspicion. No. Yeah. And as soon as Scarlet mentions treasure's like, well, I want half. Yeah. And Grimm's like, you know, she's like, well, take it all. And Grimm's like, well, yeah. well half's good. <laughs> and so basically for, for Pap and them, it's a treasure hunt. Yes, right. For Scarlet and kind of Graham, it's about the stone. Mm-hmm. Mostly for her. She wants a stone. He's yeah. one. He takes long because... She forces him to. <laughs> uh, but this is like their big thing. They get yes. they find a treasure and it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, like it's huge. But it's behind a gate. A gate, yeah. And of course, you know, they, they break it open because they're greedy. As you do. And 
It's a trap. Yeah. And the cave in and Latouf gets smushed and Suxi gets her arm hurt bad. Very hurt, yeah. With the Philosopher's Stone, I keep saying Flamel, must be American because mm-hmm. they don't like philosophers. Mm-hmm. Like the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. Don't get me started. <laughs> Scarlet magically heals Suxi's arm, which was badly cut in the collapse. They find a drawing of a door on the ceiling along with a Gnostic Star of David, mm-hmm. symbolizing as above, so below, which reveals a door hidden in the floor. Going through the opening, they find a tunnel marked with the phrase, Abandon all hope, ye who enter here, in Greek, identical to the entrance to hell in Dante's Inferno. Also in a bunch of, like, pirate movies. Yes. Yep. <laughs> That's always yes. in there. Always. <laughs> I was like, you walk in like, I have no hope. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. Dang. <laughs> Passing through, they find a dark, upside down reflection of the room they left, mm-hmm. including a catatonic Latouf who kills Suxi by smashing her head into the ground. Yeah, that was well, like, I think the only graphic scene that I was like, ooh. Yeah. Because the camera falls and we see him just like grabbing like her ponytail and just continually smashing her head yeah. into the cement it's like oh my god yeah and unlike unlike other you know um uh first person yep. kind of film footage we have four cameras not just yep. one right so we got scarlet benji graham and george you mean oh george of yeah course, george and zed yeah yeah you're right those are ones who have the cameras yeah a b c d <laughs> <laughs> So we have like, you know, they have the good yep. multiple view, view from the camera. It's, it's. Yeah. They have cameras right beside their like headlamps. Yeah. And then, um, Benji also carries an actual camera along yes, with him. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, he disappears. Latoup disappears and they realize they must continue and go deeper to escape. Along the way, Benji, the cameraman is pushed to his death down a hole by the lead female cultist. Mm-hmm. Who was staring at him at the party? Yes, and that's <laughs> also when they go down the fruit like this. They go down one way, and then they kind of flip around. Have to go back the way they come. Yeah, it's like a Halo. It's the first Halo game where yes. half the game you go one way, turn around, go back, which I thought was dumb. <laughs> um, but uh, the first time going down, he lost his grip or his clip broke, oh, and he, he says, badly yeah. hurt his his hand. Yeah, he had to grab onto the rope and he slid down. So he's like, yeah, burns his both the insides like of his hands. Like and so bad. They, they bandage his his hands up oh. uh, during the collapse. They they heal heal Suxi's arm. Yep. They do a bit for I think Zed's head. Yep. But they don't do a thing to help poor ben- Benji. Benji. Gosh. And he gets stuck in the tunnel, and, and then he, he goes stuck. down. And the, with and, and his clip breaks, and then he gets pushed down and lands on his noggin. And then like, this, is, this is gets uh, they get the creepy part back because he yeah. got the cameras in front of him. He's getting th- ready to go, and you see the corner of the girl kind of just pass through. Yeah, yes. And and you're like, okay. And he grabs the camera. It goes one way, goes the other, goes back, and there she is with the baby. And you hear baby kind of in the subtitles. You hear baby yeah. crying, all that. And his fall oh. was the most perfect fall I've ever seen. He. Front, real flat front smacks into the ground. Oh, well, he kind of half hand lands on his noggin and then just plump. Yeah, he's just bolt. Yeah, there's no balance on oh, things. Just sir. splat. Yep. Um, Ugh. it's it's uh, more. It's Benji. a little comical. Yes, just the way it happened. And this poor guy is like, you know, he wasn't gonna survive. No, like I thought. Okay, he's got the fo- the camera. He's got camera protection. Yeah. There, there's main character protection, like, you know, uh, plot armor. There's main character armor. He, at first, had camera, camera armor. armor. Yep. But then he gave it to other people, and he gave away his armor. Yeah. So. Then everybody got a head, like, camera, and then it's like, oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> there's can, your one thing. <laughs> you can die. <laughs> uh, uh. They encounter a burning car with Pap's brother sitting inside. I don't think that was his brother. That was like a friend. Yeah, I thought it was a friend, but yeah. Yeah. again, this is Wikipedia and someone's dumb. Yeah. Uh, who pulls him in the car and sinks into the floor. Ooh, it doesn't this is good. S- again, it doesn't sink. It, it fucking like it. Like black hole. Yeah, it sucks itself in. Yep. Which with his legs. Um, Just his like mid calf to foot sticking yep. out of the ground. And that's again, that goes back to Dante's Inferno, that circle where I forget how it goes exactly, but they. Um, end up 
uh, with their legs, you know, basically from the the calves up, mm-hmm. sticking out the ground. Um, and it's cool. He gets this, like, by invisible force, pulls him into the car. Yes. And the guy grabs him, pulls him in. It's a very unique, interesting, you know, death and kill. Yeah. I the beginning it. of the pulling is really, like, not well done, sort of. Like, it looks like he's obviously being pulled on, like, wheels or something. But then when they pan, pan down to its feet, it gets way better. Yes. Yeah. But, I yeah. like that one. Yeah. Just how it kind of gets just kind of sucked into it's, it's terrifying. Together. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oof. Um, they fail to pull Pap out of the ground and he suffocates. As it continues, they see apparitions of terrifying spirits and demons. Statues in the wall come to life and one violently attacks George, mm-hmm. slicing into his throat. It bites him. Yeah. Again, this is bad Wikipedia in here. I, you know. After trying to drag him further, George murmurs, Vitriol, another riddle familiar. And Scott realizes the flamel, the alchemist, alchemist, fuck off. Philosopher. Philosopher's, thank you, stone itself is yet another trap. Only by returning it will she find the real stone. Mm-hmm. So she runs back. As she races back to the crypt, she sees the same man who hanged himself as she saw in Iran and recognizes him as her father. Oh, okay. Yes, that was her dad, because he killed himself. Oh, also, so I wasn't wrong. No, it was the same guy she saw. Yeah, tell him <laughs> but also when they're going through the back to the bone yeah like bone cave part um was it george yeah george yeah. george sees, sees his, his brother in the yeah. in the bones underwater mm-hmm. and, so and he's like why didn't you help me yeah. why didn't you come back for me and it's yeah. like even Whoa. even like latude says that ask him you know why didn't you guys look for me why didn't you come yeah like dude yeah you're... like you never came and looked for me and all this yeah. stuff and they're like ah. yeah <laughs> Uh, after be- nearly being drowned in a trench of blood by an unseen force, which I love this, mm-hmm. uh, she returns to the crypt and finds a polished mirror, which is when she realizes she has the magical abilities of the stone. This is Harry Potter. Only. It <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> What's in your pocket, Potter? <laughs> she returns to George, kissing him to heal him because... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she explains they must confront their torments, as this place provides an alternate form of reality to make them realize their wrongdoings. Okay. Sure. They find and jump down a deep hole. They first believe there is no logical way of surviving the fall, but Scarlet insists that they will live if they admit their fault, which they do. At the bottom, they see the hole is no longer there. Mm-hmm. Eventually, Scarlet, George, and Zed find a manhole on the floor, which, after trying to pull, yes. which then pushed down delivers them right outside them right side up onto the surface yeah scarlet and george hold each other while zed walks away yeah. finally safe <laughs> threesome denied yeah and an ending log interview with scarlet is played in which she says she never saw treasure or the truth which is true mm-hmm. uh, yeah. the end um we also forgot to mention um oh what was i forgot to mention here oh uh, when they're walking uh when there's just the th- the three of them. Mm-hmm. After these, after uh, Pap's death, they come to, um, they see some guy. Yep. In like a, a hood. Yep. Walk by. He goes to sit in a chair. And he just kind of sits there and breathes heavy and kind of gurgles a bit. They kind of sneak by him. Then they, he stands up, looks at them. And he's got almost like a, a pure angelic face. Hmm. Half an angelic, half it's kind of scarred, if I recall. That's what it said in like the trivia. I didn't, it was, it was I really didn't quick. really was see, quick. yeah. It was a quick cut. That was supposed to signify the devil. Yeah, that's what you were saying when you yes. were reading it. Yeah. And like the stone walls were came to life and they're like just people. Mm. Like demons, I guess. Um, and she's running back to put the stone back. And it's like she the... just one way she pushes one aside, knocks him down. Yeah. She's like, she all the way back, does the same thing to the other one. I'm like, and then like the, when she kay. looks down at the floor, it's like mouths. And it's like, I'm going to eat your toes. Yes. <laughs> like it really, like the last bit really gets mental. Yeah. And really you should think, you know, are you seeing things? You know, what's going on? Here? Yeah. And that's what I can I like. I like the, um, not the crazy, but the uh, organized chaos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that really kind of works with their current mental state because they'd be for sure. freaking out. Yeah. 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 For sure. Well, what would you rate it then? This is a, it's a three. 
Okay. It's 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 like I said, they're not good nor bad. Mm-hmm. It's got some great parts, but it's missing the whole piece of the puzzle. Right. That would make it great. Yeah. That would give at least a four. And that is having more of a a conscious thought, like a straight thought instead mm-hmm. of keep throwing a bunch of stuff at the wall. Like we'll have uh Toys Inferno and, and Catacombs mm-hmm. and and people. Uh, I just watch Harry Potter, Flutter Stone. Um, 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 <coughs> yeah. Uh, look, a chair. We'll throw a chair in there. Yeah. Like, I know. It was an organized mess. Yeah. And yeah, if they would have eliminated a couple of things, I think that it could have been cool. Like, it's a cool idea, but it's just too many cooks in the kitchen. And they wanted to do too much. I think. Well, they made the Philosopher's Stone the MacGuffin of the movie, which I think was not needed. Right, totally. That, like, again, I didn't know that was part of the movie. Yeah. I didn't realize that was a thing. Even just have that, if you could even cut that out. Yeah. Cut out that part and have them go off to the treasure. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, oh, it's treasure here, and we heard of treasure in the catacombs. We need something to come, you know. Yeah, we need an us. interpreter. We need yeah. a, somebody, we need, like a guide. Because yeah. they need George to read the, um, yeah. to translate. Yes, exactly. And they finally got everything all together, and as it turned out, you know, having that turn out to be, you know, like the, the gateway to hell, mm-hmm. sure, that would have made a little more sense. It would have right. dropped the MacGuffin part. Yeah, it, it's... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I probably would give it a two. Okay. Just not my jam. Um, I've seen this, like, done, done better. Yes. And I just, yeah, it's just, you can tell that... There were too much. There was too much thought put into it, almost. Too and many like, cooks in I, the kitchen. Yeah, and I get it. Like I get what they were trying to do. It just didn't work for me. That's fair. Yeah, I'd give it like one star for or one orgasm for the acting. The acting was actually really well done. The acting was very well done. Very well done. Um, and then I'd give it another um, orgasm for uh, the atmosphere. Yep. Yeah, because the the this, the music was actually all right. Um, and the claustrophobic part with Benji, like I felt that everything else just didn't hit for me. Apparently even uh, the guy hit. who played George, he was claustrophobic. So they had to sure. give him some, some kind of, you know, rest times yeah. between takes, which I'm like, oh, poor guy. But, I would be the same. Yeah. For me, for a three, it'd be acting. Yeah. Acting, acting was, was fantastic, this movie. Um, atmosphere again, like you. Sure. And you but like also, the concept. And, and the concept. Yeah. I, I love the kind, I love that idea uh, it just it was just missing some parts. Yeah, it yeah. had it had they focused on the wrong part. Mm-hmm. They are they're more focused on the philosopher's stone than they should have focused on Dante's Inferno. And mm-hmm. even then, they could have described it better than just this is a cave. This has uh, water in the middle of of, of the, the the cave part of the tunnel, right. which turns to blood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Having the car on fire represent the guy. Well, I thought that was just. I thought that was like flames of hell itself. I'm like, totally. okay, they're actually you know going to have an actual hell atmosphere. Nope, just nope. a car on fire. I'm like, just oh, a car on fire. That's weird. Dang. Yeah. It, it just like, they didn't. And also, you know, five million budget. That's probably why they didn't ha- do things that way. But. But still, like they can cut some shit out. <laughs> yeah. Cut some shit out. I don't know. But, you know, the movie was kind of well-received. Like, people do it like was. this movie. They, yeah, they, just they, not my cup of tea. No, they, they focus on the um, claustrophobia part of it. And then it worked. They, it, was, it was really tight space-ish. Yeah, they there really, were some parts, yeah. They really had, you know, they had, like, <laughs> a few, what, four or five dead ends they ran into. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ugh. Yeah. Dang. Well, this was the movie. It was a good movie. Uh, so it, was, it wasn't terrible. It so wasn't, like I said, it wasn't the best. wasn't the worst. Yep. And for the kill the fleck. Woo! Has to be Papillon. I agree. Being pulled into the car. It was just, it was very unique. Creepy. Yeah. Yes. And then just him, like, a reverse ostrich in the sand. It's like, oh. And the thing is, he tried to pull his legs yes. out. Yes. Like, no. You're not moving, bro. Sorry. No, he's kind of stuck in the floor. <laughs> Tickle his toes. Yes. That's why I was like, tickle those toes. <laughs> tickle those tootsies. <laughs> Where's those feet, uh, those floor mouths? They like to tickle toes. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I'm going to eat your little piggies. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. <laughs> and that 
was the movie for the week. Bop, bop, bop. But next week... In quotations... Which we released at the same time. Um, we're watching Idle Hands! Yes. Which we already watched, so I'm excited to talk about that I one. Sh- don't, 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 never mind the man behind the curtain. We didn't watch it yet. Uh, we're going to watch it right now! <laughs> yes, we Idle Hands. Again, it's one of my, it's a cult classic favorite it's, of my I've, I've heard of it. I thought it was, okay, so when I looked up, like, scary movies, this one was, like, up there. The fuck? <laughs> This movie was a lot of things, but it was not scary. <laughs> I think for the kills and the gore. Is it though? I think that's where the they're horror... comical. Oh, very much. <laughs> it is a whole hardcore horror comedy. Yeah. This it, is a it was a good horror comedy it, though. And I the, liked it. It's in the same feel as Evil Dead when yes. Ash's hand gets possessed. Yeah. It's like the whole thing. Yeah. But set set in the ni- set in the nineties, ninety nine. With really over the top characters. And oh. boobs. And boobs. I only got like one boobs though. Yeah, it was a nice set. That was I'll some take nice one of your she, finest breasts, please. She has some nice boobs. For I'll, sure. I'll give her, I'll give her a, uh, she gets an automatic star for the boobs. <laughs> so, it's, it's, already, it's already at one star. Proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but thank you much. Nice. Thank you much. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. This episode was brought to you by our executive producer, Ichabod, who was weirdly quiet, and our head of talent relations, Anarchy, who's always quiet. We hope you enjoyed your orgasm as much as we did. Please don't forget to rate, download, and subscribe. Also, like and follow us on Facebook at Horgasm Podcast, Instagram at Horgasm, Twitter at Gasm Horror, YouTube at The Horgasm Podcast, and Twitch at Horgasm Games. If you have a movie you'd like us to review, this is the best way to let us know. We hope you s- to see you again next week, or right now, because we have such sights to show you. Plenty of orgasms for you to experience. Bye. Later.